All right, so it's Sunday. Uh, Mega Con. This girl's a little bit bigger than I anticipated. At least for a Sunday, because I know Sunday shows are usually a little bit slower. Not this one. I was going to show you the waiting line for the vehicles to get inside the gate, but I figured, yeah, you guys probably do without. So, I was going, I actually got here Friday, and um, relatively easy. Admission was pretty smooth. And then uh, Saturday, I got here super early because what I didn't know was there was two different convention centers. And I parked at the wrong one, so I had to catch a shuttle to come over here. So Saturday, Friday, I mean Saturday, I got a little bit smarter, got here earlier, and literally parked right in front of the convention center. So, anyways, I'm about to walk in, and then I'll just do a tour and see from there. All right, so we're entering Megcon. I didn't want to do the whole security measure stuff because it's just foul. But, um, all right, let me flip you around. This is where we walk into. Alright folks, Tito here, so I have Austin from Reese's Rare Comics, and uh, I decided to take a quick second over here, 30 seconds to talk about uh, comics and how he got involved, so go for it. Yeah, so we're a small family business from Maryland. Uh, my dad actually had a store back in the 90s uh, in Newmarket, Maryland. It was called the uh, Vault of Collectibles. As you guys probably know by now, the 90s wasn't a really good time for comics. So that only lasted a handful of years. But I remember growing up in the back of a comic store, flipping through books and sports cards and all that. Fast forward about 10 or 12 years, we get a lead on a collection, and my dad starts getting back into it full time. And at that point, I was still in school, but started helping out with the shows. My brother was helping out with the shows as well. And uh, it just morphed into its own thing. We started doing it full time in 2009. And ever since then, we've been traveling around the country, hitting these trade shows. Uh, we have our own website online, and we're always just trying to find new, rare material to bring to you guys. Yeah, I know you have an Instagram, because you actually posted it and tagged you on Instagram. Now, you, you mentioned the website. You have Facebook. Yeah, everything is at Reese's Rare Comics, Instagram, Facebook. 
I'm always posting on Instagram if anybody has any questions or just wants to look at some cool books. We try and post something at least once a day. Uh, at the shows, I try and do a live video uh, to kind of give people what the vibe is like at these conventions. So if you haven't been, we hope to see you come out. We're always traveling. Uh, our show schedule's on our website too, and I try and give people a heads up on uh, social media. Okay, well, I appreciate it. Let me just do a quick scan of this phenomenal book that's behind me. Like. That's what it's all about, man. Uh -huh. just, 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 mm. And this is just some of them. Ha, 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 ha. 
Yo, Yo, talk to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First, introduce yourself real quick. Okay, okay. What's going on? <laughs> Jason Roberts, baby, from the Bronx, New York City. Represent Third Line Skate Group. Hi, Mom. <laughs> All right, so is yes. there some way we can get a hold of you? You know, if they like what they see? Yeah, um, you can find me on Instagram at The Gatekeeper Sway. My name is Jason Smith. You can find me on Instagram. But um, basically, you got to catch me at the shows, man. So talk to me about this one. Okay. I wonder why. Spawn, I've always known what Spawn is. I've, I've known it for years. This is my first time ever drawing it. I never drew Spawn. Like, this is the first time I ever drew him. And to be honest, the picture was bad. It was bad, like a good two, three hours. I thought about it, I was like, what if I'm drawing for Mr. McFarlane himself? Mm -hmm. I wanted to do it justice. Mm -hmm. So I just drew it in my own style. Like, once I got out of my head, I was like, it's not about the money. I wish you have something killer. So, all right, so let me let me get in this one, all right? So, I was walking down this aisle and I was looking at, I think it was this one and that one down there. And he started talking to me. So, being, you know, I guess you could say an elitist and all, I asked if he ever did a spawn. He was like, no. And I said, let's do it. And look at that. I'm actually glad that you are seeing this version versus the end version because you can actually see the pencils and how it's going to evolve from there. Oh, yeah. So, uh, seeing that it was his first time, I told him, take your time, let, let his brain just explode with whatever he can come up with. And this, for, with the pencils itself, it's just... I mean, you can ask him yesterday. When I saw it, I was like, holy <laughs> shit. Smokes. I fell in love with it too. I was like, oh man, I guess I can draw a spawn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, appreciate it. Went over your back, Mr. Lee. Don't get mad. Hey. How you doing, man? Another day. How's the car going? You can check your thing.
I just kind of dropped off out of nowhere, didn't it? Hey, what's up?
set that up.